So what is gold and silver? Come, what is gold and silver? Sorry? Metal. Uh, metal, okay. But what is gold and silver in terms of uh, investment? Sorry? Value. Uh, okay, okay. So gold and silver have value. Stock also have value. Everything has value. It's just that uh, how this value change in different economy cycle and how it should, uh, how you should allocate your your portfolio in this uh, kind of asset. Uh. Uh, uh, so this is gold, uh. Uh, this is silver. Okay, uh, that's intend to make you all laugh, but uh, <laughs> sad. Lucky uh, I spent only five minutes for this. Uh. <laughs> okay, uh, now you laugh. Okay. So, uh, that is for kindergarten uh, kids, uh, gold and silver. But now I'm going to explain in economic uh, terms. So, uh, there is a hierarchy of money. Okay, there is a hierarchy of money. When you buy anything, when you sell anything, there will be a transaction. Okay? If no transaction, economy will not grow. Okay? You buy something, people sell something, there is a transaction, there is a GDP. Then there is economic, economic growth. Okay? So when you transact, uh, when you make some transaction, you need to pay something. That something we call money. Okay, they call money. And there are many types of money. And the lowest quality we call credit. Uh, let's say I buy um, maybe a printer from you. Then I say I owe you $1,000. That is credit. Credit is the lowest quality. Uh, later I'll show you the, all the types of money. Credit is the lowest credit because you can just create from thin air. I tell you that I owe you this amount of money, you give me something, that's it. Create from thin air. Uh, so this is the uh, lowest quality of money and for credit, you are promising the seller to pay him something. Okay? Say you owe him money, you promise him to pay, to, to pay him money. Okay? What you promise to pay is by using deposit the currency or the money is to put in bank we call deposit so credit promise to pay by deposit okay this is the other types of money and it is of higher quality than credit because you actually have some money in bank unless the bank go to bankrupt then your deposit will be worthless but for credit actually is worthless huh? it's just a promise okay it's just a promise so deposit also promise, promise to pay by something, okay? That we call currency, the cash, paper money, okay? You, when you go to ATM, you press your password, you your key amount you want to draw, that is you convert from deposit to currency. It's also a better quality than deposit because you really own the paper currency, okay? And currency also promise to pay by something, no? but not now. In back in nineteen seventy three or seventy four, currency promised to pay by gold. You all know about this, huh? Yes. Yes, uh, okay, Maybe some of you know uh, The rest don't know. Mm. Right. Currency do uh, promise to pay by gold. Back in nineteen seventy or seventy three or seventy four. So uh, at that time, uh, gold and uh, this paper currency uh, is fixed one, you know. Like for example. Uh, one dollars go. Uh, you must uh, one dollars paper money convert to maybe zero by one ounce. Example uh. So it's fixed, you know. Until seventy plus, uh, nineteen seventy plus, uh, they decide don't want to patch the car paper currency to go. That mean they allow the go to, to be freely move against the paper currency. Okay. So that means there is no relationship between currency and go. So this relationship does not exist today, okay? It's only happened back in 1970 plus, okay? Reason why I introduce this to you because I want you to know the type of money and what is gold in economic terms, okay? So in this triangle, it also tell you a, in the other meaning. You can see here, equality, okay? The higher it is, the, more, the higher the quality in the, in the, uh, for, the car, the, for the money, okay? The horizontal axis also have meaning. Quantity. Quantity. 
Okay, credit is uh, has the uh, highest quantity in in, in the east economy or in this world, uh, because you can just create from thin air. Okay, but uh, for economic contraction and expansion also depend on this triangle. When economy expand, right, more credit will be issued out. Then economy expand, this triangle will become bigger and wider. When economy contract, nobody want to take loan, nobody want to uh, or owe money to buy something. So this triangle will shrink to become a narrow, narrow triangle. So economic expansion meaning wider triangle, and narrow triangle meaning economic uh, contraction. Okay. So this is a uh, we call hierarchy of money. I read it from some book. I can't remember the name of the book. Uh, if you want, you can just Google and search for hierarchy of money. Uh, so now problem is what? No? Problem is what? Okay, don't say problem. Uh. We will talk about good things first. Uh, okay, this is the paper. <laughs> paper currency, I think back in, I don't know what it's the years here. But this is, I think, uh, before, before the 1970 plus, uh, uh, this is a paper currency, I think it's US dollars. So promise to pay by gold coin. Okay, it's real one. Uh. Okay, so now problem is, uh, no, now this uh, currency no longer promised to pay by gold. But why people still want to hold gold? Since there is no direct relationship between gold and currency. Uh, in 